That was fire. Did you see that? But how long did it take me to make it? Over a month? Nah, of course not. How long then? And how exactly did I manage? Well, to all that and the more, I've prepared this documentary. But let's start with the beginning. So I had an idea to create some sci-fi cyberpunky flying racing spaceship. And I didn't want to just copy something that already exists. So I needed to create the whole concept, but as you may already know from my other videos, the first step when creating any kind of model is getting references. And in this case, a lot of them. And I mean a lot. But what type of references? And to answer that question, I had to ask myself, what spaceship I want exactly. What's it for? How realistic should it be? And you know, sort of, what do I want the viewer to feel looking at it? And after some thinking, I stumbled upon a distant memory of me when I was just a young kid without any responsibilities. I remembered playing this game on my brother's PS Vita. It was something about racing on those cool looking racing ships, but I couldn't remember the name obviously. And so I went on the internet on the PS Vita emulating sites, where I searched for hours and finally I have found it. Wipeout 2048 and I immediately downloaded the emulator and started playing. After three days of not stepping away from my PC I screen recorded the game to get some references and I also went to Pinterest to get some more. Now I can finally start working on the model. For the first hour I was just playing with the shape and in the end I was left with this. The next step is to take this to Photoshop and to just paint the details. So that's what I did. As you can see the shape of the model is really smooth and flowy. And that's what I wanted. It sort of shows speed. Look at every modern sports car. They are smooth and shaped like an arrow. But let's add those details onto the model. Now texturing. For that I'll use Substance Painter as I heard so many great things about it. And I've just got a little tired from Mixer. And yeah, the program is great, if not for the price. By the way, it has students and teachers version and it's free. Yeah, I'll definitely get it. The best feature so far is baking and it is so easy. It is literally the press of one button and it makes texturing really easy and just elevates it overall. Let's just keep me trying to learn new software and fixing my modeling mistakes along the way. All right, the model is done, but I want to create some sort of environment for it. So make a quick metro tunnel segment, texture it and apply some magic to bend it to fit the BZA curve. And that's it. Now use some keyframes to animate the model going around the track. Render it in workbench to see if it even looks good. But something is definitely missing. And yes, yeah, some help from Reddit was involved. But after some thinking, I've just come to the conclusion that I need to add a cockpit. And so I did. But I needed some model for scale, so I've just searched for... Holy shit! 15 bucks for this? Nah, here's how you get it for free. Download a free model from Sketchfab. I'll even leave a link for this one down in the description. Then upload it to Mixamo and choose a setting, in my case, pose. Then save it and there you have it. I just saved you 15 bucks. And I mean, you can thank me by buying my add-on called Relate. Link is down below. Anyway, after more modeling and retexturing of the whole model, it still looked kinda bad to be honest. But you know what I do in this type of situation? Throw that shit in the trash and forget about it. Let's start over. For this time, I decided to get even more references. And I figured out that all the ships from Wipeout followed the same general shape. So I'll use it. Then I got some more references from Pinterest, not only of ships, but of cars, small details and other things. Then I was like, I wonder what I can find on ArtStation. I heard it's a great website. And now I see why. Anyway, to get more references, I played through the Phantom Liberty DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. By the way, it was fire. And yes, I'm playing on like the lowest settings because my 580 ain't cut in it. So Nvidia, please, send me that sweet 4070. Back to the model. After making the base shape, for a couple of hours I was just doodling in Photoshop and adding details. I wanted to make the detail look balanced and interesting, so I watched some vids about balancing design, and in particular this presentation on concept design by Alberto Petronio. 
I had to make the joke. And I understand that concept design is a whole other concept, no pun intended. And to just watch a couple of tutorials, I'm not going to magically become a professional concept designer, but I think it would help me a ton to at least know the basics. For that I maybe need to pick up drawing, to just have my perspective and sort of the basic skills on point. And in general I feel like modeling something from scratch is way harder therefore gives you more progress, so I'll do that sometimes. But anyway, I got a little sidetracked there. The model is ready, so let's look at texturing. And yeah, I just want to show how easy it is to bake the textures in Substance Painter. Yeah, that was it, just a press of a button. Two hours pass and I have my first texture set, but I'm not stopping here. Adding those lines on there, this material, that material, made some jokes on cockpit interface, all that good stuff. But at this point we hit a wall. The model and the texture look good, just great. But there's something missing, apart from the lea re apart from the realistic imperfections, I'll add them later, but there's something else. Look at my model. Now look at this one, or this one. Now back on my model. Yeah, there is no main color, except white of course. All the other models have some bright, energetic, literally screaming color schemes. And every time I try to add any color, it just doesn't look right. I don't know why. Maybe I need some cool design on there, maybe some sponsor logos, I okay. All I know is that maybe I don't need a color, maybe that's enough. And there is only one way to find out. Start to make the final renders, to see how it looks. Alright, let's start with the map, or some sort of environment. I found those two maps on Sketchfab, one of them is even based on Wipeout game, so that's nice. Hopefully the textures will import automatically. Well, I had to do it manually. Just before I can render this, I need to add a tiny detail. A thruster flame, just the simplest one, nothing fancy. Then hit render and wait. But then, something from beyond struck me with inspiration. And I had an idea. What if, in the start, it will show the ship under a cover, in a secret warehouse, then the laboratory, with monitors on which there will be a rare indicator showing the movement of the ship, then a shot of the tunnel as the ship races through the city, then the ship will finish the race and everyone will applaud. So the plot will be that someone just a madman, took the ship, this prototype, from the lab and then went through the city, onto the race and won. Cause I don't know, the prototype is just crazy man. And this not only will show my model in an interesting way, it will sort of explain why it looks the way it does. Why there is no color? Well, that's because that's a prototype. So maybe this can be a reality. After I got this idea, I had to draw it, to not forget. This is what I got. Yeah, yeah, don't laugh, let me explain. This is the first shot, the ship in the warehouse, this is the lab with the monitors, that's the underground tunnel, and that's the last shot. And I added one shot to just kind of make sense of everything else. So it will go the warehouse, the tunnel, the lab, then the city, and then the race. After I got each one of those scenes ready to render, I just stamped them to ship it render farm. And no, they didn't sponsor me, sadly, but I still want to talk about them. This service literally saved me days of rendering, and to have an ability to just send my project and take a lot of my system, that's, that's something. But if you want, I can make a separate video about them, cause that's just an awesome service. So just let me know in the comments. With doubt out of the way, my render is ready. Now I just need to do some post-processing, sound design and all that stuff. So, let's finish this up. I'm honestly surprised with how well it turned out. And yeah, 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 the final render is not representative of the model in a traditional way. But I have this render for you. Overall, the model is great, just awesome. Like, just a year ago I thought that something like this wouldn't be possible. So yeah, I'm really glad I did it. Links to all the models that I've used are down below. But for now, like, subscribe, and bye bye